out. Gemma. Adam. Wasn't expecting to see you. No. No, it's crazy. Remembering Dolores, the Cranberries produced one final haunting album called In the End, in memory of their lead singer. This is ITV News at 10 with Tom Bradby. Now, tomorrow will mark a sad anniversary in the history of 90s indie band The Cranberries, a year since singer Dolores O'Riordan died. To her three bandmates, bandmates, she was, of course, irreplaceable, but they wanted to make one final album in her memory. Tomorrow they will announce it is to be released in April. It is called In the End, and it features Dolores's haunting voice. She recorded the vocals a year ago, just before she died. This is the video of one of the last songs Dolores O'Riordan ever recorded. And listening to her vocals today at the first UK venue the Cranberries ever played in, her bandmates say it's a fitting tribute. It's classic. Um, Dolores, you know, especially those choruses that she was great at, you know. Um, she'd be really happy with she, it. I, oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. This is footage from that first UK concert 28 years ago at the Underworld Club in North London. For the Cranberries it was the start of a hugely successful career with tens of millions of album sales. But a year ago the singer of the Irish rock band was found drowned in a hotel bath after she'd been drinking. Now her three remaining bandmates are releasing the final song she'd been recording in the months before her death. It doesn't seem like a year at all, at all. It just seems like a few weeks, really. Some days it doesn't sink in because it was so sudden and so shocking and unexpected, you know. Especially yeah. when we were uh, doing the recording of the album as well. We were, we just, the first, the first few days was a bit strange, but then once we got into it, we just, we just got going and got the work done, but you were expecting her to come, come and do it at some stage. And, say it wasn't right or something like that. Or <laughs> and it is the final Cranberries yeah. album. Yeah, yeah, like we, you know, Doris was like a massive, massive part of this band, so um, it's never been really a question for any of us to, to continue on. But I think, you know, she was really, really excited about getting back into the studio and doing this album. So when we kind of went through the songs and realised how strong we felt this album was, to not do it, would have been kind of a you know the, the wrong thing to do. Um, I guess the the downside is we're never going to get to play it live, you know, which we you know, which would be it's a pity, but it's just one of those things. The new single is out tomorrow. The album in April, a final addition to the legacy of a unique voice. Nina Nana, music ten. An unforgettable voice, that's for sure.